Overwhelmingly, of course, the perpetrators of domestic violence are men. Nine out of ten victims are women. But there are males who suffer, and it takes courage to speak out. Simon Lanham is living proof of that, that men can be on the receiving end. She'd pretty much always been violent, so, you know, I, I sort of figured, well, if I don't be violent, maybe she will see that, you know, you can do it without losing the plot. But unfortunately for Simon, that wasn't the case. I remember suddenly being down on my knees and in agony and it was hard to breathe. Yeah, she was freaking and told her to turn the light on. She turned the light on and I saw the blood and I still didn't know it's been stabbed. And the courts? What did you think of them? <sighs> what a joke, you know? So the, the, they treated me like I'd done something wrong. But she didn't go to jail? No, didn't do a day in jail. I mean, she didn't, she didn't even get charged with attempted murder. I mean, seriously, how can you stab someone that many times and not think you're going to kill them? Is a man less likely to go to the, his local RSL club or the pub and say, I'm abused? No, not in a million years. Yeah. They say, what, what, she punch you? They say, what, is she, she you talk to you? would be laughed at. Oh, I can tell you, it's not, not, not real funny. James Walsh works as a counsellor in the small town of Corowa on the New South Wales-Victoria border. He helps men who are victims of domestic violence, like Simon. James says that sometimes the support network fails. I've had just so many blokes just burst into tears and... They don't know what to do. Have you had suicides? Yeah. They just can't make it. The fact is, Australian men are sometimes the victims of domestic violence, even murdered by their female partners. Simon and James agree that we need to tackle this issue together. Our Prime Minister is telling us men must respect women. That's, that, that's the cause of all this. I, I don't agree with that. What would you say? I agree that if we are ever to tackle this problem, and, and I'm aware of just how big it is, then we, we've got to tackle this together. We, we can't just keep excluding half of us and saying, well, this service is for you over here, this service is not for you. <laughs>